The interaction between the environment and peoples throughout the world affects the quality of life on this planet. As citizens of our community, we can participate in decisions impacting our city, state, and nation. In this series, we explore the effects of our influence on the Earth's ecosystems, as well as alternatives and solutions. This is Eco News with your host, Nancy Perlman. Celebrate the image of the tree in its myriad forms. Hello, I'm Nancy Perlman. On this edition of Eco News, we visit an exhibition where artists share their paintings, sculpture, and poetry about the transforming quality of trees. Stay with us. Paintings, drawings, sculpture, ceramics, video, photography, digital media, books, and words are used in the Tree of Life exhibition at the El Camino College Art Gallery. The nurturing value of trees stands out as we remind it that trees have provided people around the world with shelter, oxygen, fire, food, medicine, shade, and beauty. Let's see some of these inspiring portrayals of these beautiful plants. Welcome to El Camino College Art Gallery. My name is Susanna Myers and I'm the curator for this show of the Tree of Life. We have the honor of hosting a show of over 62 uh, Southern California artists who have done all different kinds of representations of the image of the Tree of Life. The images um, range from people who are addressing environmental issues to spiritual issues to um, people whose work has to do with the Sephiroth or the Jewish, the Kabbalah. Um, another artist who has done a piece about the chakras according to Hindu um, beliefs one piece that is a wish tree that stems from Japanese tradition of putting a, writing down a wish and attaching it to a tree and then re later reading the wishes aloud. A lot of my life over the past 20 years has been dedicated to Native American way of life and Native American viewpoint of the way of spirituality and seeking. As I said, I'm an artist seeker, so I seek beauty through my art. It's very easy for those leadership individuals and people in, in government to be a part of very big uh, efforts to help with the ecology of the world and of our state in California. But how does an individual include themselves in that? As an artist, this is the way that I've done it. I've become an environmentalist by making pieces that talk about the beauty of the environment, of clean skies, of beautiful landscapes, and of course the sacred oak itself. To me, the oak is sacred and it is electric. Sunrise and sunset is also precious to native people. And where I live in Topanga Canyon, there's many, many black oaks and valley oaks to see. And now we can't cut them or touch them or move branches or anything like that. And it's the Coastal Commission. We have one of the strongest uh, coastal laws in the United States and California, and I'm grateful for that. These pieces here are oil on canvas, and I treat the oil very much like watercolor where I don't really put very much paint on the canvas at all. They're very immediate and very much about the feeling of the oak and the beauty of the oak. Because I'm a seeker and I seek for spiritual understanding in life, and because I've studied the Native American traditions, nature is my vehicle to understand the spiritual in life. I've tried to create them glowing and electric as if they had a spiritual being, and they truly do, which a lot of people forget about. I think if individuals could see them as living beings, then we would protect our environment more naturally. If we could look at the oaks and see them as our big brothers and our big sisters, we'd be much less likely to, ha less likely to harm them. This one is glowing uh, with the sunset. This is called electric dusk. And I don't know if you've ever seen a sunset as beautiful as this. I've been lucky enough to see them with the golden purples and the beautiful reds and yellows. And I know that if you sit in nature, you'll experience the same thing I have, where the truth of life and the meaning of life and the beauty of it comes to you in a sunset, comes to you in just a moment experience in nature. This second one here is called Electric Dawn, and it was really about the fog that comes over the beautiful mountainscape where I live. You get to see the fog rolling over and the little bits of yellow light that come up from the, from the dawn. And the moon as it still sits in the sky. So these are my two pieces. And I sign them in this way here. 
I don't know whether you can see it, but it's just a four, four directional instead of a signature as my way of saying uh, thank you to the sacred four directions, Mother Earth and Father Sky, for the beauty of the Earth and the beauty of you. Sacred Oak, electric dawn, electric dusk. That's right. I feel that energy coming from your painting. Thank you. Beautiful oak trees, even though they don't have the green leaves. Yes. You use a lot of color to express all of the elements of the earth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we could see their spirit, we'd protect them. And we certainly do need to protect them because they are so endangered. They're really a symbol of life. And they're a symbol of California. They belong to our land specifically. Why would we destroy that? It's amazing. Do you find a very special tree every time you go out? Does it become your favorite? Well, you know, when I look at the oaks, I see that they each have their own personality. Each one of them is bent in a certain way, has a certain number of branches, falls in a certain way, has seedlings underneath it, have parklands below it, and I imagine all the animals that live in the oak and around the oak, and they become more like individual friends, like meeting you and making a friendship with you. And then you have to go each season. That's right. And see them at the different times of the year. And watch them change and grow. They're a symbol, I think, of California's strength, of California's beauty. And uh, they're so much a part of our ecological system. It's so important to take care of them and to honor them and to value them. Well, hopefully everyone will become a friend of the oak now that they see your beautiful oh, work. thank you. That's my hope. The Tree of Life exhibition has been so inspiring. We have certainly enjoyed having the artists share their works with us and to reinforce the importance of trees in our lives. And for viewers who would like more information, at the end of the credits we will have an address and telephone number on screen. We love to hear from you, so please call or write. And be sure to join us again for another edition of Eco News, your best source of current environmental news that affects you and your future. On behalf of our nonprofit organization, Educational Communications, thank you for your support. I'm Nancy Perlman wishing you a natural, unspoiled environment.